Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. You will notice that the cameras are be moving around a lot, mainly because my kitchen is not exactly set up for video. I have my ingredients over here and I have a fixer over there. So there's going to be some moving back and forth so you will be able to see everything that's going on. So I'll try not to move too quick and give you motion sounds. So today I am going to be making homemade pizza. Pretty simple recipe. It's from, I believe it's a Betty Crocker cookbook that my mom has. She copied out the recipe for me. I have made it quite a few times so I won't say that I'm a pro at it but I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> so our uh, first ingredient is going to be two cups of flour. Next up, two teaspoons of baking powder. This powder, not soda, there is a difference. I have the right one. Then we need one teaspoon of salt. I've already prepared two thirds cup of milk, but I am using powdered milk today. I do not happen to have any regular milk on hand. And instead of six tablespoons of oil, I was running a bit low on oil. There's a small you will see there's a small chunk left in there, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna see if I can do this one handed. If I can't, we won't be filming this. ball here. Alright, so I got the dough rolled out. Uh, I like my crust super thin, so I made this really thin. Uh, the fun part about making homemade pizza is is that you can make your dough as thin or as thick as you like. Some people like super thick, some people like super thin, some people like somewhere in the middle. When you make it yourself, you can make it exactly the way you like it. As you can see, it is nowhere near a perfect circle, but we will be fixing that. I roll it super thin. 
in that, and then I will press it down so it doesn't be. Like I say, I like a good thing crest. half of what I need, even though I did not double the recipe. The recipe actually is for, supposed to be for one pizza. Yeah, that's not going to be perfect. And as you can see, we're, uh, we paired it and added that one so forth, but you know what? Nobody cares, it's number one, it's going to be eaten. Number two, it's going to be covered with sauce and contents and everything, so you don't even see it. So, and if you're making it for like a party or for somebody else, yeah, it's okay. If it looks a little homemade, that's great. Some people know it's homemade, and then you get the kudos rather than if it looks too perfect, but they think you just bought it in the store. You don't get any credit for your hard work, so. Alright, I've got a can of, actually this is not tomato sauce, you'll notice this is actually spaghetti sauce, and no I'm not making spaghetti, this is just what I happen to have on hand, so that's what we're using. Be a bit much, but... And some Parmesan cheese. Actually, this is not genuine Parmesan cheese. This is grated topping. Come on. This is grated topping with Parmesan. Oh, I know what's in there, but then we're going to add the regular cheese. an exact measurement. Mm -hmm. The measurement is about three handfuls. Of course, when you make this, you can add whatever toppings you want. And you can do a white sauce and chicken. You know, Canadian bacon, pineapple, whatever. Go crazy and invent a new pizza topping that nobody's ever done before. Which would be very hard because there's a lot of different pizza toppings that have been done, but... And finally we will add some olives. Alright. So it is ready to go in the oven. I have preheated my oven to 425. So that is in to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. I will probably check in about 15 minutes just because it is a thinner crust which does tend to cook a little quicker. As you can see I got a little too much sauce it's probably going to spill over and burn so it will still be delicious. Alright, so it has been about 15 minutes. And looking at the pizza, it is all done. Alright. And that, my friends, is how you make a pizza. That's it for this episode of Kenny's Kitchen. Will there be another episode? Who knows? I just make videos. I just make what I like to make. So, there may or may not ever be another episode, but hope you enjoyed this one and come back next time. Bye! Dun, dun.
I know I'm probably filming way too close for most of this, but okay, I gotta clean this with two hands. Give me a sec. Copied off the recipe for me.